as a community college, part of our role is to meet the workforce needs of our local community. And when the MIRTA law was passed by New York State in March of 2021, we started looking at what are the different jobs that are going to be coming into the community. We saw a really terrific alignment with both the hospitality management program and our, our two-year business degree program. And we had some existing courses that we thought were going to be a perfect fit for this credential. And I'm also going to be teaching two of those courses, the uh, retail management course and the Essentials of Customer Service course. We isolated and identified what we thought were the essentials that any student going through any cannabis related program really needs to know. Um, we're looking at things like the endocannabinoid system and how cannabinoids in the plant impact a person's physiology. We're talking about the growth of the plant, so we're, looking, we're dealing with people in the agricultural area and in soil science and in plant science. We'll get into some of the culinary aspects of it and talk about how edibles are produced and the difference between consuming as an edible versus vaping versus combusting and why one would choose to do one over the other. So all of that falls under the broad umbrella of science and we'll be dabbling in each of those areas in our course. Our micro-credentials are really short, discrete programs. They help students master a task or a specific skill set that they might be able to use in industry. Uh, so it's shorter than a certificate or a degree. Um, often students can complete it in one semester or they can do it over a few semesters part-time and then they get a digital badge when they're done and that's portable. They can put it on LinkedIn. They can send it to potential employers on their resume and it shows exactly what they learned and how they learned it. So it's sort of proof that you know how to do something. We're doing something a little bit differently with the micro-credential in that we're going to have students enroll as a cohort. So we're going to limit our first group to 18 students and they're going to be taking all four courses in the fall of 2023. And what's exciting about that is that we're planning to bring them to dispensaries. We're planning to bring them on field trips to processing plants and you know to really create a community of students who are going through this first program together. I think it's uh, I think it's about time it finds its place right um, I think it's, it's exciting and um, we're hoping to be a, a real big participants of it. I think everyone should really understand how cannabinoids work in their body so so we are, we're excited about it. The micro-credential is open to any DCC students or anyone in the community there are no prerequisites other than being 21. I'm Dr. Livia Santiago Rosado, and I'm the Health Commissioner here in Dutchess County. We have a lot of activities that happen through our health department, but one of the most important activities that we do is around rabies. We are here to talk about rabies prevention and how to keep yourself, your families, and your pets free from rabies, and so that you also know what to do if you may have been exposed to rabies. So please pay attention. We're very excited to share with you this video. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Anna Shaw and I'm one of the rabies coordinators here at the Department of Behavioral and Community Health. The powers, duties, and responsibilities regarding rabies are codified in the New York State Public